Today, we are going to see what a short story is. The short story is a work of fiction that is usually written in narrative prose. A short story is much shorter than a novel. On an average, a short story usually has about 1500 to 2000 words. In contemporary usage, the term short story most often refers to a work of fiction no longer than 20,000 words and no shorter than 1,000 words. So it should be no longer than 20,000 words and no shorter than 1,000 words. Stories of less than 1,000 words are referred to as short stories or flash fiction. Longer short stories are sometimes referred to as novellas. Usually short story has a range between 1500 to 2000 words. I write short stories between 1500 to 2000 words. Every short story has a plot. It is the sequence of events or incidents of which a story is composed. These events or incidents are interrelated as one thing happens because of another. Thus a plot is a planned, logical series of events having a beginning, a middle and an end. Unlike a novel or an epic, a short story usually has one plot so that it can be read in one sitting. To put it in easy terms, just like a number of serial bulbs are joined together to make a serial set. So also a number of events are joined together to create a plot. Now, title. A story is usually given a title either after the name of the protagonist of the story who is a protagonist, the important character, or a particular incident or theme in the story. The title should reflect the subject of the story without giving everything away. It is the ultimate headline. Conflict. Conflict is an essential component of the plot. It is the opposition of forces which bind one incident to another and makes the plot move forward. Conflict is not merely confined to open arguments, but occurs in any form of opposition that the main character has to face in the story. Within a short story, there may be only one central conflict, or there may, may be one central conflict with many minor ones. In a short story, there will be one central conflict or... There may be one central conflict with many minor ones. Now, characters. Characterization is an essential ingredient of a story. There are two meanings of the word character. The person in the story and the characteristics of the person. A short story has a relatively limited scope and its characters are seldom fully developed. They are not fully developed. However, a good short story often provides a complete or satisfying treatment of its characters. In a short story, one character is clearly central to the story with may all major events having some importance to this character. He is called the protagonist or important character. The character who opposes the main character is called the antagonist. Characters are round and flat. Round characters are those characters who are individuals having a range of different traits or characteristics and those who grow and react to situations. Flat characters are those with traits or one character, uh, sorry, those with one character trait and one way of acting. They are static and do not grow. They are stereotypes and do not arouse much interest. Themes. The theme in a story refers to its controlling idea or its central insight. It is the author's underlying meaning or main idea 
that is conveyed in the story. The theme may be the author's thoughts about a topic or view of human nature. Examples, ambition, greed, love, fate, jealousy, loyalty are some of the common themes in short stories. Setting. A story must have a setting. Setting is the time, place and social reality within which a story takes place. In other words, the location and the background atmosphere in which a story takes place is called the setting. There are several aspects of a story setting which contribute to the success of the story. The elements that make up a suitable atmosphere are place, place, where is the action of the story taking place? Time. When is the story taking place? Is it historical period or time of day, year, etc.? Weather conditions. Is it a rainy, sunny or stormy day? Social conditions. What is the daily routine of the character? Does the story contain local color? What is the local color? like writing that focuses on the speech, dress, mannerisms, customs, etc. of a particular place. Mood or atmosphere. What feeling is created at the beginning of the story? Is it bright and cheerful, like in a birthday party in a story? Or dark and frightening, like a ghost story? Style. Each story, writer has its own style. There is a regular beginning that sets the tone of the story. Descriptive and narrative details are mingled with dialogues and they make the story lively and interesting. The prose used in the narration is the language of thought as well as of feeling. Now I told you about dialogues. Dialogues do two things. One, they move on with the story or they reveal the character. Do not write dialogues because dialogues are needed in the story. No. There are stories where dialogues are not there. Listen to two examples given by me. I am going to Alaparo and see him and ask him for the money owed. Here, it moves on with the story. The character is going to Alaparo, a place called Alaparo, to see a person. Now listen to the second dialogue. I am going to Alapara to see the person to get my money. If he doesn't give, I will beat him up. So here is a character who is ready to go to the extent of beating up a person. It reveals the character and also tells a story. So dialogues, you have to be very careful when you write dialogues. Now point of view. Point of view is defined as the angle from which the story is told. It is the perspective from which the reader will view the events in a story. The following are the main points of view used by writers. First person, second person and third person. Usually writers use first person and third person. Second person are not used. Now let us see what is first person. The story is told by a character within the plot. It may be the protagonist or chief character, one of the characters who interacts closely with the protagonist or other characters. The narrator uses the pronoun I, me, we, etc. in a speech. The reader sees the story through this person's eye who may either give a very clear picture of what is going on or even a misleading one. The readers have to be clever enough to judge how reliable the narrator is and whether he has the maturity and experience to know what's truly going on. Now second person. The second person narrative is a narrative mode in which the protagonist or other main characters are referred to using second person personal pronouns like you, your, yours, etc. This point of view draws the reader into the story almost making the reader a participant in the action. Traditionally, the employment of the second person form has not been as prevalent as the corresponding first person and third person forms. I told you second person, very few writers use it. Only first person and third person are used. Now third person omni omniscient. 
point of view. That's very important. The author himself narrates the story, letting the reader know all that is being said, done, thought and felt by all the characters. The author uses the pronouns they, she, he, it, etc. in his or her speech. He moves from character to character, even to even, having free access to the thoughts, feelings and motivations of his characters and he introduces information when and where he chooses. That's all for today. Subscribe to this channel. Goodbye.